Hi, welcome to the onboarding video about the newest exporter for JIRA functionality, the scheduled exports. As the name might give us a clue, this feature will allow you to regularly receive a link with your exports of JIRA issues directly to your email inbox. So let's see how this works. Let's start from JIRA's issue navigator. First, let's select which issues and columns you need to regularly export from JIRA. For this example, we will filter the issues by the unresolved ones, maintaining the current columns. Once you've determined the parameters of your issues export, let's click over the exporter icon, located in the top right of the JIRA's issue navigator. Once in exporter, we visualize the previously selected issues, where we still have the choice to select which issues to export, or we can also export all the columns JIRA has for issues. We are going to keep going with the ones we already selected. Let's continue and choose to which type of format we want to export these issues. We are choosing the Excel format. If we click the Continue button, we can choose which type of extra content to export from each issue, if it applies. For this example, we're selecting only the comments. Then we continue. So far, this is the common path to any JIRA issue exports with Exporter. And this is the moment when we will show you the scheduled exports feature, as you might see in the additional top right button. Let's click over the Schedule Export button to receive the previously filtered issues in our email inbox. Let's see how the feature works. In the following window, we will set up all the details. First, let's give a name to this export. It will be Weekly Report. Following, we get to choose when to receive these issue exports. It could be by specifying a specific date or a series of monthly dates of when we want to receive it. Or it could be by specifying which day or days of the week we want to get the issue reports. We are choosing to receive it only on Mondays. To finish the configuration of the scheduled export, we need to select the time zone and that would be it. Let's save it and patiently wait for the export to arrive in our email inbox on the specified day. From this screen, you can choose from two options. Go back to the Issue Navigator or access the screen to manage your scheduled exports, which is available from our current view or from the Apps drop-down menu placed in the JIRA Cloud main menu. There, you'll see the Scheduled Exports option. Let's click on it. Here, we can visualize the name of the scheduled export, who's the creator or owner in this case, its frequency, we can check if it has been delivered, and when was the last time it happened. The status column shows if this scheduled export is paused or active. By clicking over the details, we will get further information such as the type of file we're exporting these issues to, which extra content is set to export, and get to know the list of issues filtered for this export. Also, from the Executions column, you can get a list showing every time this scheduled export has been fired to your email. This will help for audits if necessary. Also, it's possible to perform three different actions. 1. To export issues at this moment, which will trigger an email sent to the email address set. Two. To edit the details of scheduled exports such as name, frequency, and time zone. 3. And to delete any scheduled export no longer needed. Now let's see how the email we receive will look. It indicates the 24 hours availability of the file after receiving the email, which will link back to JIRA to download the issues export. Also, it will be possible to manage the scheduled exports from there. The scheduled exports represent a solution for those who need to periodically track the progress of specific issues, avoiding the human error factor in the day-to-day -day manual work and, that way, saving time. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to check our YouTube channel for more videos like this, hit the subscribe button, and follow us on our social media channels.